Johnny Chipmunk ran after the pretty butterfly so fast he slipped and fell right down on his fat little news flash. Machine Gun Butch just shot his way out of jail. He may be in your neighborhood. Be careful. He is armed and dangerous. Lock your doors. Remember, he's a killer. Oh my gosh! Machine Gun Butch! The killer! Ship ahoy! Ship ahoy! Hey, what's this? What's going on? What's this all about? Hey, boy, hey, boy, hey! He's in the b -b -b basement. Oh, yeah? <laughs> 
Big shot. Big shot. You're a big shot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. She thinks you're a big shot. You probably look like a millionaire to her. A big shot playboy. But you're not. Suppose she could see you as you really are. You, you gangster. Rob a little kid's banks. Bank robbery is a federal offense, chum. You know what that means, don't you? It means G-Man. You're a public enemy, pal, to be shot down like a... <laughs> See what happens to gangsters? They always feel hunted. Slinking in shadows, dodging in doorways, racing through strange buildings. Everything seems to conspire against you. Your feet feel like lead, frustrated by fiendish obstacles. You're desperate, the joints surrounded. <laughs> but they'll never take you alive. Ah, the roof. Quick, you gotta find a hideout, John. 
No, no, that's the elevator shaft. Jump, 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 go on. All gangsters have to do that. Uh-oh, missed it. No? Yes, no. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. You made it, pal. You're safe. <laughs> Stupid! You're on the spot! Scream! 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 Hi! Quick! Hi! Uh-oh. You got a price on your head. You gotta get rid of that thing. A blind alley. You're cornered, trapped, trapped like a rat. You're as good as a jail right now. A prisoner, a convict, with cold prison bars all around you. No little nephews to kiss you goodnight. Oh, stop! I can't stand that! those little kids back, you wouldn't feel like a convict anymore. You'd be your old self again. Oh, boy! Even if you do have to work all night, remember, every dish was is money in the bank. Dollar, dollar ten, dollar fifteen, dollar twenty, dollar thirty. There. You put it all back and a nickel beside. And a nickel beside? Jump? <laughs> Crime doesn't pay. <laughs> Day's toil is over. Are you the type of person who drags his weary body home, slumps into a chair feeling beat, bored, bushed, and listless? If so, you need a hobby. Take your pick, pick, picture. That's it. Photography. For the beginner, a few minor bits of equipment are necessary. Meters, photo floods, tripods, reducer, enlarger, printer, developer, hypo, paper, cutter, trimmer, buckets, pans, water, bulbs, lights, gloves, boots, trays, powder, reflectors, and camera! With these few inexpensive items, the ardent amateur photographer is ready to pursue his hobby. Once the equipment is properly placed about the dark room, we are ready to load the camera uh, with film. <laughs> there are various types of film. Those most commonly used are roll film, film packs, and cut film.
the camera is loaded correctly, we next pick the subject to be photographed. Perhaps one of the most fascinating is the filming of wildlife in its native habitats. in conclusion, we often find a simple hobby is not only a source of great personal satisfaction, but also the happy means to financial independence.
He scared you, huh? <laughs> you know who that fathead is? <laughs> that's the guy that's taken your place. Look. Look at the swell new joint he's getting. Look at the dump you live in. <laughs> it's falling to pieces. Are you gonna let that guy muscle in? Who's it gonna be? You or him? Go on, go on. Give him the works.
Happy Royal Workers. Shall we sing our Loyal Royal Work song? Dear Royal, we're loyal, we'll always be joyful. We'll work hard and long for to you we do belong. Today must be right. The customer is always right. We'll work, work, work. Our duties never shirk. No, we'll never, never watch. 
So come now, we must work fast and time will pass. the minutes slip by when we keep our mind on our work. Oh, yeah? Uh -oh. <laughs> we don't sound very busy down there, do we, Mr. Duck? That's better, much better. Now let's mark this one rush, please. Sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. That's a good boy. Back to our work now. Wrap this one quickly. Hmm. <laughs> What's that? Night blooming narcissus? <laughs> oh no, it's come hither number five. Attention workers, I've some good news for you. Wow! Production has increased in every single department. Oh. Except one. What? The gift wrapping department. Is that so? Something will have to be done. Royal Royal brothers aren't happy. Yes, uh, they're gonna do something about it. Now hurry up, hurry up. Here's a rush order, Mr. Duck.
sure you won't mind staying to wrap a few more packages. Remember the royal spirit. Give me everything you've got. <laughs> Mr. Duck? Out! Oh, Mr. Duck, stop it! Please, oh,
gleich. It's all downhill from here. <laughs> to down safe from sound. <laughs> common cold is a tiny virus easily identified by his red nose. Although the virus wins few friends, he influences many people. Sometimes the average man seems to deliberately try to catch cold. I don't have a cold. That's true! Now look, Geef. A cold is nothing to be sneezed at. Beat it! Poor Geef. 
an outcast from society, shunned by a cruel, cold world. Hello? I feel awful. Where is everybody? Honey, plague Bridget Mabel's dinner in icebox. Deserted! Deserted by the ones he loves the most in his hour of need. Alone with his misery. A definite change has come over this man. He doesn't even look like himself. The top of his head feels like it's blowing up. He feels awful. But man has always been a fighter. I don't feel good. Am I ever glad to be home? My, my, what a day. I'm sick. Ooh, my feet are just simply killing me. There. That's better. I've got a cold. <laughs> that nosy Mrs. Ripsnoop. Did I ever give her the cold shoulder? She tried to tell me how I should follow suit. I bet you'd have enjoyed the game, the second rubber in particular. I drew the ace, queen, and a beautiful run of hearts. Loveliest hand I've ever filled. Heaven knows what I'll do with it. Well, but anyway, George. George, are you listening? Huh? I'll bet you haven't heard a single solitary word I've been saying. Choo! <coughs> what on earth's the matter with I you? I got a cold. A what? Oh, you poor boy. Well, don't stand there like an idiot. Close that window. Bundled up. Get off that cold floor. Jump into bed. <coughs> Mama's little man don't feel so good. Uh, uh. Well, we'll take care of that. We'll break that old cold. <coughs> Mustn't get chilled. <laughs> Say, ah. <laughs> you look feverish. Probably just getting a cold. Keep covered up. Nice, warm mustard plaster, just the thing. <laughs> it's all in your head. Now some nose drops. There. Feel any relief? Kind of woozy? This should do it. Ah, sleeping like a baby. And 
so, two weeks later, Mr. Geef's cold had run its natural course. And once again, Mr. Geef felt like a human being. Mr. Geef was firmly convinced that a cold is nothing to be sneezed at.
Oh, 
Somewhere. <laughs> I wonder where he could. Oh!
it's this. Can't see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's around here skipping rope. I'll get him. Stop! Wait a minute! Stop! No, no, man! No, no! Don't! There's no one here. Oh, there he is! Steady, boy. Steady. Take it easy. There's nobody there. He's right behind you. No, no, it's only. Let me at him! Let me at him! Now calm yourself. Don't stop me! Please, easy now. Calm Let me at him! Let me at. General, did I ain't crazy? You you said I'm crazy. <laughs>
You better miss.
Nothing left, sir, but the cot on the porch. That'll be sixteen dollars, sir. Sixteen dollars. <laughs>
Well, well, well. Good morning. Hey, hey. Psst, psst. Wake up. Wake up, sir. That'll be 1698. Sorry, sir. Time's up.
Ich bin ja der Wahnsinn.
Okay, Mickey.
to run out and get some more bandages. <laughs> now, don't you two get into any trouble while I'm gone. <laughs>
goin' ter hunt some ducks, hunt some ducks, hunt some ducks. I'm a goin' ter hunt some ducks for my fair lady. <laughs> I'm a deedle. Good morning. Deedle dum, deedle 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 dum. Hoodle deedle deedle dum for my fair lady. <laughs> <laughs> the skies are loaded with them. <laughs> she works. Hey, where'd she go? Oh, there you are. Okay, Clementine, bring them in. <laughs> Huh? Something wrong here. Uh, somebody ain't telling the truth. Clementine?
sweet disposition. One guess, guess who? Who never, never starts an argument? Who never shows a bit of temperament? Who's never wrong but always right? Who never dream of starting a fight? Who gets stuck with all the bad luck? No one but Donald Duck.
for help. Steamship has started with... gentlemen, you have just heard the final episode in the sinking of the steamship jack. <laughs> Here we are out at the Elite Deluxe Sports Palace about to witness one of the biggest ice hockey games of the season, bringing together two of the top-ranking teams in the league. In no other game is the feeling of competition so keen, affecting both players and spectators alike, turning casual friends into bitter enemies. Tonight's game looks like a sellout. A capacity crowd of thousands of rabid sports-loving hockey fans has turned out to cheer for their favorite teams. Yes, sir, the stands are filling up. They're really packing them in. Well, it seems there have been a few last-minute changes in the starting lineups. Get your pencils ready. Now, instead of Hannah at left wing, Stallings will start. Put Degrati in place of Williams at center, then Berg over Aliquis. And at left defense, McCormick replaces Dunham. At goalie, Angan takes the place of Nichols. And, oh, yes, the, the teams will be the Loose Leafs versus the Anteaters instead of the Moose and Pelicans. All right, the teams are skating out onto the ice. Listen to that ovation. Here come the two stars of their teams, Icebox Bertino and Fearless Ferguson. A heated rivalry has developed between these two boys. Both are tied for the top league scoring honors, and tonight's game will be the payoff. As these boys go, so go their clubs. The referee for tonight will be that popular arbiter, Clean Game Kinney. A favorite of the fans. The entire responsibility of the game rests squarely on the shoulders of the referee. This keen-eyed individual must follow the course of play so closely that sometimes it seems he must have eyes in the back of his head. Uh oh A penalty! There go the guilty players into the penalty box. With these stars out, the complexion of the entire game may be changed. A hush of expectancy settles over the crowd as the teams line up for the face-off. 
The referee drops the puck, and the game is on! Puck over the blue line, passed out to the right wing, checked by the opposing left wing, who passes the puck back to the right defense, cutting in fast, picking the puck off the board, now back to the left wing, and pivots around the center. There's a scramble for possession. Boots has got it. He's down the ice, tries for a shot at the net, but the goalie puts up a stout defense, knocking it away for a beautiful save. Comes Colin DeGrotti fighting for the puck. There's a shot, and he scores! No, no, no! Look at that stop! Nothing ever gets past that goalie. Murray boots it down the rink. It's taken by McCormick. McCormick to Papineau at the blue line. Over to Murray. Murray cutting over the loose leafy fence. He tries to draw the goalie out of position. There's a shot, and, 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 and! Out the center ice, both teams are battling furiously for possession. Here come Bertino and Ferguson out of the penalty box. And there go Bertino and Ferguson back into the penalty box. The loose leaf take the play away. I'll take the pass on the right wing. Right center ice. Oh, Riley snags the puck and a beautiful puck check at the end. There's a long pass ring wide and a scramble for the puck. A little rough play out there. Both sides are trying to score. And. And there's the buzzer running the first period. In order to give the cash customers a chance to sit in their seats, there are 10 minute rests between periods. Well, there's the buzzer starting the second stanza. Takes to the ice. Puck is faced off. There's a pass out to the side. The Lucy's come up with a play. Here comes McCormick cutting down the side. That boy's sure burning up the ice. Spinning like a top. He crosses the blue line. The defense closes in. Wow! They really laid it into him. Hooray for Riley! Here come Bertino and Ferguson out of the penalty box. Oh, wow! And there go Bertino and Ferguson back into the penalty box. There's a pass out to Bond, and here he comes swinging wide with a blinding burst of speed. The next up is Bond, sliced his way through. Up comes him fast, picks up the puck, takes a shot at the net, and the goalie kicks it away. There's another shot, and another, and another. The goalie has the situation well in hand. No, no! He knocks the old net for a score, a score, a score, a score, a score! <laughs> One, loose leaves nothing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that score might be enough to put the game on ice. They line up for the faceoff. There's a scramble. Puck is boarded against the side. Here come Bertino and Ferguson out of the penalty box. And there go Bertino and Ferguson back into the penalty box. Coming up to the blue line, it's boom! He's right down the crease, trying to knock the count. And the goalie boots it away from the crowd and saves, the crowd loses its mind! Here's the play. Mohawk poke checks it away from Williams, intercepted by Shaw, pass behind to Alec Wilson, slips it to Pete, and there it goes right, right down the middle. He shoots! The referee's in the way! There's another nice safe at the net. He clears the puck from the front, but it's too hot to handle. Now both teams are fighting it out on the ice. This is anybody's game. Riley shoots, McCormick shoots, Berg shoots, Pugley shoots, Weaver shoots, DeGrady shoots, Sump shoots, Nolly shoots, Bushman shoots, shoots, everybody shoots. There's a score, and another, and another, and another. The goalies are standing their ground, but they've got their hands full. It's a three-scoring game. Shaw is shooting, Moore is shooting, Kogelman shoots, Lowry shoots, Clark shoots, Dolly shoots. The score is adding up. We have 27, 28, there's never been anything quite like this. The crowd is going absolutely berserk. I've never seen anything quite a spectacle. And the crowd loves it. And there's a right.
right cross of the chin, and the left uppercut, and the high one to the center field stand. Oh, a foul, a foul. It's breathtaking. And they're mixing it up. Wow, a basket, a basket. Very fast, very fast. Oh, touche. And look at that blocky. And look, look down the sidelines. And it's a touchdown. Strike ball, ball, strike ball, strike. He's out. Out like a light. Here comes the pitch. It's a long road drive. Straight down the fairway. Is it a strike? Is it a strike? No, a spare. Oh, bad news. Oh, bad news. Oh, bad news. Rummy. Rummy. Wow. Wow. And that's why ice hockey is called a spectator sport.
play football. Football needs special equipment. A college covered with ivy, a coliseum or stadium filled to overflowing with 100,000 rabid, wildly cheering fans, great armies of vendors, managers, mascots, photographers, sports writers, doctors, elaborate brass bands, assorted coaches, old grads, scores of Annie Oakleys, and two teams resplendent in brilliant uniforms create a riot of color and atmosphere unequaled by any other game on earth. Now the object of the game is to advance the ball over the goal line of the opposing team by hook or crook. Eleven men on either team, two ends, and that's how the game is played. Now the teams line up for the kickoff. The referee blows his whistle. And the game is on. It's a long, high end over end kick over the end zone into the arms of, uh, of uh, Swivel Hip Smith, that great All-American star, triple threat scat back. Look at him go. They can't touch him. He can really carry the mail, that boy. Look at that open field running. Look at that straight arm. He's away, and he's over for a touchdown. Well, it isn't often you see this happen. 105 yards to a touchdown on the opening kickoff. Now, here's the try for the extra point. And the kick is good. And the score is 7-0. Here comes Swivel Hip Smith out of the game. Listen to that cheer. The coach is saving Smith. He's not taking any chances with his star player. Back to the game. Taxidermy Tech kicks off to Anthropology a and But the ball is fumbled, yes, and now it's Taxidermy Tech's ball. They go into a huddle. The quarterback or field general looks over the defense and decides which number to call. They come quickly out of the huddle. The line shifts into position. The quarterback barks his signals. The backfield shifts. The ball snapped. The quarterback fakes it to the halfback, gives it to the fullback. The front pile drives from center for a gain of eight yards. <laughs> and that quarterback's a smart boy. Oh! All right, all right. Signals. 18, 29, 47, 63, 54, 99. The team's working like a well-oiled machine. Double wing back to the right from an unbalanced line. A man in motion. The halfback's got it off tackle, and he's smeared for a nine-yard loss. What a dumb quarterback. To the spectator, football may appear rather rough at times, but in reality, it's a character-building game. All right, taxidermy's ball. Third down and 11 to go. DeGrotti has the ball. He gives it to Gershman. No, Sibley's got it. There it goes to right. Oh, no, it's a fake. A hidden ball. Crisscross, cross buck, end around. Double lateral, razzle dazzle, spinner, split buck. And he's in the clear. Uh-oh, there's a penalty on the play. It's against taxidermy tech. One, two, three, four, five. 15 yards for unnecessary roughness. Well, it's fourth down and 26 to go for TNT. The quarterback is worried. The coach radiates confidence. The quarterback decides to kick. It's, it's blocked. No, he got it away. It's a high spiral. The safety man's under it. He muffed it. It's a loose ball. Number 48's in fast. Oops. Butterfingers. Moose Williams got it. He had it. Now DeGrotti missed it. Seaburn boots it to the 50. There it goes to the 35. It's next ball. No. Wow. Right. Wrenched it away. And it's AM's. No, everybody dropped it. Nobody's got it. A hundred yard fumble. A free ball over Tech's goal line. But here comes Nordberg. He's recovering the old pork skin for six. What a play. The teams line up for the try for the extra point. There's the kick, and it's blocked. <laughs> Anthropology AM receives, and they're nailed on the 25 yard strike. What's the quarterback going to call? It looks like a pass. It is a pass. Geronimo fades back, cocks his arm, rifles a bullet pass into the flat. It's intercepted by Anthropology. Here's the 40 yard marker, the 30, the 20, the 10, and he's over for a touchdown. There's the try for the extra point. It's good, or or is it? Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, and there's the gun ending the half. Well, here's one for the books. The officials put their heads together, they reach their decision, and the score at the end of the half, taxidermy seven, anthropology 12 and one half. T-A-X-I-D-E-R.
During the half, the players are allowed to relax. The coach, who is a master of psychology, points out their weaknesses. To prevent overconfidence, he shames them. Arouses their school spirit. A man of many moods, now threatening, now pleading. A saint, a devil. He has varied and subtle ways of appealing to their sympathy. Now get out there and fight! Back on the field, the second half's about to start. Smith's going in. Listen to that cheer. There's the kick. Swivel hips is under it. A host of anthropologists close in, but he breaks away. 10, 20, 30. Look at him go. 40, 50. They can't stop him. Listen to that crowd. 60, 70, 80. Look at that straight arm. He's in the clear. 90, 95, and he's over for a... Wow! He's hit and hit hard. This is a real blow to the coach. They're taking Smith out. It's a tough break for the team. They're working on swivel hips, Smith. Tech is snowed under by a wave of tackle. The coach is feverishly trying to revive Smith. Time is running out, and taxidermy is up against a stone wall. Desperately, they work on old Swib. Only time for one more play. Look at Smith on his feet. He's going in. The crowd goes wild. Anything can happen. The team's fired up. Here's the play. Smith's got the ball. He's away. Look at that <laughs> blocking. <laughs> Smith reverses the field. They're clearing the way. Not a man on his feet. Smith cuts back. The crowd is hysterical. It's Smith tight roping down the sideline. Smith breaks into the clear. But look, there's an anthropology man on his feet. One second to go. What a game. And here comes the tackler. Run, Smith, run. Smith's tired. Having trouble with the ball. The AM man is gaining. He leaves his feet. Look out. Look. And there's the final gun. And Smith wins for taxidermy tech by half a point. To the coach goes the real credit. It's his clear thinking and calm, level-headed reasoning that makes football the great game it is today.
Well, well, Pluto, who's your friend? <laughs> nice little kitty, 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 kitty. Don't let that mug bustle in. Who's it gonna be? You or him? Don't take that devil's bad advice. Be a good dog. Treat him nice. <laughs> ah, that guy talks in riddles. Look, he's stealing your grub. <laughs> now he's stealing your bed. Ain't I told you the tree's a mob? You gotta get him out of here, see? Okay, stupid. Get a load of this. <laughs> hey, lay off the sentiment. Lay off. Now give him the wakes. <laughs> nice going, Sap. You'll take the rap. Hey, stupid! Come here! How did I know that sardine was gonna turn stool pigeon? Save him, Pluto! Save the poor little kitty! Be kind! Be merciful! <laughs> ah, let him drown. He got you kicked out, didn't he? You must save him. Nah, don't be a sap. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Ah, pipe down. You make me sick. <laughs> He's a pushover. <laughs> Now save that kitty! Out here. 
Kindness to animals, my friend, will be rewarded in the earth. The end. the smoke of centuries when Columbus first set foot on the new world. Ow! Ow! You? Smoke. Match? Match. Ah! And so Columbus not only proved the world was round, but also firm and fully packed. Smoking became a new habit in the old world. Yes, sire. It got so man could face any test with a cigarette in his mouth. Ready? Aim. Fire! Ah, it's a Phyllis Morrison. Smokers could read the handwriting on the wall. Today, they see the skywriting in the air. The average man's habit of smoking leaves its marks deeply imprinted upon his surroundings. With tobacco, the smoker finds relaxation and contentment. A constant companion in his leisure hours. Ah, that last puff before retiring. And that first drag on a rising. Ah, it's mild fragrance with a morning shave. Ah, that cool inhale with coffee and toast. A fast exhale while leaving for work. Ah, the soothing bag to face the day's toil. But sometimes, because of the irritated eyes, tickling throat, dry hack, coughing, wheezing, and the shortness of wind, the inveterate smoker gets a strange desire to rid himself of the habit. I quit. There. I feel better already. and done it. I sure admire a guy that can quit smoking like you can. It ain't easy. If it was, I'd quit. Quitting, giving up the habit, changed Geef's entire outlook. Hey, George, I'm a father. Have a cigar. Well, thanks. Almost forgot. You quit smoking. Yeah. Uh, 
one day quit smoking for? I like smoking. I'm no quitter. Get a lot of pleasure smoking. I love smoking. It's my hobby. I'm gonna... Smoke, 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 My good man, have a cigar. Oh, thank you, sir. <sighs> Give the smoker enough rope and he'll hang on to his habit. Oh, 